Dr. Rana Limbo is our guest this morning. She's a PhD RN, PMHCNS dash BC, comma, P C P L C, comma, F A A N, associate director and an author of a book, Meaningful Memories Ritual and Reflection When a Child Dies. Rana, good morning. Good morning. How are you today? I'm I'm doing very well. I was looking forward to talking with you. Good. I remember our conversation last time. We talked about you at a, a book signing. And when we were talking before we went on the air, you said there's a story in the book that you'd like to share. So I, I, I'd like, if you would, if you could read part of the book, uh, Meaningful Moments, Ritual and Reflection When a Child Dies. I would love to do that. And I, just to set the stage, one of the things that, that my co-author, Kathy Kohler, and I write about in the book is that ritual and meaningful moments often come from asking parents to talk about their child. And out of those stories frequently is something that is very meaningful to them. And this happens to be that kind of story for a father and his child. So here's what, here's what the story says. She fits right here, the dad somberly shared, pointing to his chest. Yet his eyes glowed as he, as he continued. Every night, she fits right here, and I carry her up to bed. I'm going to miss that terribly. I watched as he held his small daughter's body securely against his chest. Hours later, as we were discussing the direct release of her body from the hospital room to the funeral director, I remembered Dad's words. Would you like to carry her in your special way out to the funeral director's car? His entire body position changed as the question hung in the air. Shoulders straightened, eyes flashed with a glimmer of hope. Would I? Why, I'd follow you over a mile of burning coals if it meant I could do that with her one last time. And so we did. And for one last brief moment, father and daughter were home and safe. Oh. You got me, you got tears in my eyes. <clears throat> wow. That's a that's a strong story right there. You know, there are there are those um, in all of our experiences when someone close to us dies, and we we hope that the book helps people find those, remember them, talk about them, share them, and for healthcare providers who are with families at these times, real careful listening can give us just as in this story can give us a window into what's important and what that meaningful moment could be. I, seriously, doctor, I got <laughs> uh, drippy eyes right now. It's, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. As, as a father, you know, I, I, can, I can see that. I, you know, those are the moments that you remember as a dad mm -hmm. that, you know, you, when, the days you're able to walk your child up to bed and tuck them in yes. and, and tell the story and hold their hand and tell them everything's going to be all right. And, it's not fair that a child dies before a mom and a dad. <clears throat> no, it is not. It isn't. And it's it's one of one of the most bitter and tragic experiences of anyone's life is to have a child go before you do. It 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 defies the natural order, and part of the grief is coming to grips with the fact that this is what happened because you never ever expected that. You believe that your children will bury you. Yeah, and that's how you live your life. Uh huh. I, I, uh -huh. how do how do people get through that pain? Many many parents would say that it's a day to day thing. Sometimes it's even minute to minute. They they often talk about that there is comfort and peace in their remembering. One of the one of the myths of grief is that you put it behind you and you go on and you don't think about it. In fact, we know that not to be true. And so when we when we find meaningful moments that are part of anyone's death, remembering them, thinking about them, writing them down, talking about them, actually helps our hearts. Because one of the things that we know, and, and as a father, you you completely understand that, and as I do as a mother. If, if your child died, it wouldn't be as if they're gone from your life. Far from it. You continue that relationship with them in, in their death because you continue it through remembering them. And that that brings joy and love to your heart. Terrific sadness that they don't share those 
daily ritual that like the one I just read, but you have you have that relationship with your child until your death. Uh, you know. So Dr. Ronald Limbo is our guest this morning. It, it, it's it's weird. This is this is pretty emotional for me right now, and I don't even know why. Just maybe just thinking about the fact that you know that there is an end for everybody. You know, you you, you think about your your kids, and as you mentioned, yes. you, you huh difficult time yes. right now. <laughs> and I don't yes. <laughs> meaningful moments, ritual and reflection when a child dies. Uh, was the research for putting the book together, Rana? Was it difficult? Kathy and I have um, both of us have a lot of experience in working in helping families when a, when a baby dies or when an older child dies. So we really did combine what we have learned and continue to learn from the families that we worked with, with, with actual research that's been done. And we tried to put it together in a way that speaks to people in many different ways. I did receive an email from someone um, who had read the book just a couple of days ago and she said something very interesting. She said it was a sensual experience. I felt that the book spoke to me and there were so many elements of it that I could relate to. And that's one of the things we hope to capture. It's not just words on a page, but it's an image. Like the image that is across the page from the story I just read by Roger Grant, he took this in Ireland. It's it's the shell of a medieval castle against a beautiful, beautiful blue sky. And grazing in the foreground on beautiful green grass is a herd of sheep. And the title for this section is Safe Haven. And I think that, that that's what we hope to capture with the book, is that not only do you read the words on the page, but you see the image, and it perhaps brings to mind something in your own life that brings you comfort or brings you joy or just simply helps you remember. The book is called Meaningful Moments, Ritual and Reflection When a Child Dies. Uh, Kathy Cobbler and Raina Limbo are uh, the authors of the book. And you can pick it up at, at uh, Gunderson? At Gunderson in the gift shop and also at Digicopy at 4332 Mormon Cooley. Very good. Uh, Doctor, thank you very much for joining us this morning and for sharing that story. And uh, there is hope out there. You know, if you it, definitely whew, deep breath. <laughs> Podcast of the show can be found on our website. It's today's talk1490.com. Thanks so much for listening to us. It's eight o'clock.